today i'll be discussing about the normal distribution or how to check whether a data is in a normal distribution or not because this normal distribution is very much needed for because in the student t tests i know and all only the distribution in the normal 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 distribution we can do those tests so let us see that okay so i am loading two libraries dplyr and gg pubr okay i have loaded that i'm just clearing my okay i have loaded that now i am going to work with the tooth go this is inbuilt data set so this is a you can see 60 rows are there and length of teeth supplement and dose this is how it has been made so i am going to store that in my underscore data to store it now i am going to run just to show you how randomly we can choose the rows i am adding a seed and using this command i am choosing 10 rows randomly okay. so i chosen 10 rows ran randomly now i am going to plot it okay using gg density and see how that plot is okay i am using the length column l n column okay and i am going to plot it density plot of tooth length and i am going to just plot okay so this is a density how the distribution whether it is a normal distribution. so it is more or less normal distribution okay and then using histogram also we can check whether it is a normal distribution or not okay it is more or less normal distribution okay and then another plot is a qq plot okay draw the correlation between a given sample and tot and the normal distribution a 4 to 5 degree reference line is also plotted you, you can let us see that okay gg qq plot okay so you can see so most of the points are lying around the uh, most of the points are lying around the line so uh, you can say this is normal distribution as all the points for approximately along this reference line you can assume normality okay and now i have discussed before in my video shapiro test you can use the shapiro test and see whether it is normal distribution or not okay so the p value is not less than alpha alpha value usually it is 0.05 or 0.01 so you can say this is normal distributed okay we want to test if the variable length is normal distributed if the sample size is large enough Uh, greater than 30 we can ignore the distribution of the data and use parameter test because if it is greater than 30 usually it will be in the uh, normal distribution okay from the output the p value is greater than 0.05 implying that the distribution of the data are not significantly different from normal distribution in other words we can assume normality because this value is much greater than 0.05 okay see now this command okay our norm this tells to create 20 numbers okay 20 numbers with mean 10 and standard deviation 2 you can see okay 20 numbers with average 10 and standard deviation 2 so suppose you are drawing a histogram okay this is normal distributed i, I am showing you an example okay this is norm, mostly normal distribution because it is a normal distribution r r norm is for normal distribution okay once more i am doing see you can see this also is a normal distribution because the data we created is a normal distribution so why this much change is coming because it is only 20 numbers okay again you use this plot and see again i am making 20 numbers with 10 uh, as the mean and 2 as the standard deviation okay again i uh, once more i am using the same thing it is normal distributed but you can see the change in the 
pattern okay but let us see so this is what here i am going to make 200 numbers okay 200 numbers okay with 200 numbers i am making with average as 10 and standard deviation as 2 so let us make the histogram of this one okay again i am going to make see that's a difference there's no much much uh, difference in the figures when i am again once more i am repeating see this is more or less perfectly normal this should because the number is more so always you want higher numbers okay to get a good study of the statistics that's what here so again i am plotting it for the 200 numbers once more if i do that there'll be no much change when it was 10 uh, 10 values only you could see the variation the image even though it was normally distributed you see here you got different types of uh, drawings okay but here just not there's no much change once more if you do here you can see you can see the change there's no much change okay that because the numbers are Hi. but if you type here and see and once more if you type you can you will be able to see it. you can clearly identify the change so when the 200 values are there it is a perfect fit okay you can say that okay thank you anything is there just comment i will explain it. okay this is how i mean uh, just a recap so this is uh, what i done here is that I have taken a data set, inbuilt data set and I tried to check using visualization graph whether it is normally distributed and check with Shapiro test and found it is normally distributed and then this is for this example purpose okay so it is a Shapiro test value so if the p-value is very very is less than 0 0.05 you can Tell it is not normal distributed, otherwise it is normal distributed. Okay. Thank you.